Got a piece of it. Good, got a good piece of it, and, and actually had a very good swing. Oh, look at this. There go the sprinklers. The sprinklers have fired just on the infield, but and it is beginning to soak the infield grass and the base pass as well. A little grin there for Martinez. Buried obviously in the grass line on the infield. Okay, now the question: Have you ever seen this before? No, well, the that. timers that had to be on a timer, right? And uh, I see one of the grounds crew guys. He's darting out to center field. I wonder if that's where the oh yeah, the the shutoff that's... valve. He's to the noon. Bob doesn't see the humor. No. Time called as the sprinklers have come on the field here in right field. Hey, it's that time. Ready. I've never seen and that before at Coors Field. I've seen it at other ballparks. I've never seen it happen here. It got everybody. That's off the end of the bat. Flipped down the right side. It's foul and giving chase that time was Perez and somehow it set off a water geyser. Uh-oh. And that is scattering the tin caps bullpen and a bunch of fans near that picnic area. However, fed it off. Watch him race down the line, click, and all of a sudden off it goes. Well, this presents an interesting situation now for the Tin Caps bullpen. To uh, Cochran, Georgia. It's uh oh. The <laughs> sprinklers just <laughs> turned on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and the third base umpire, Conan Strobel, uh. got hosed. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I love that Marcus Barrios is just standing there. He's like, I'm on the mound. I'm I'm okay. Well, well, he, he's surrounded by four well, sprinkler heads, so, so he's not really going so which way to go. Oh, that's a new one. These sprinklers have gone on. <laughs> As the sprinklers have. Decided they were going to turn on in the middle of this game as Robert Gazelman dodging here. So I guess this gives a new meaning to icing.